Hey guys, this is Bart Hansen for Crush Live Poker, and today I want to re-highlight one of the most incredible nights of poker that I've ever had the opportunity to be a part of an amazing collection of hands. This was played in March on TCH Live, and if you're not familiar with TCH Live, they do live cash game streaming every Monday and Thursday, all cash games, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Do me a favor and subscribe to their channel. Just go to TCH Live. They just put up a collection of PLO highlights that came out today. But this was incredible, incredible stuff on this night. So many pocket aces set over set. So many big hands over big hand. And then finally, at the end, just one of the more unbelievable matchups you've ever seen. And this night featured Matt Berkey and Christian Soto, the Solve for Y guys were here and it was just unbelievable. I mean, we were just calling out the cards in the commentary booth. Uh, really, really entertaining stuff. I think you would, my basic, the only reason I'm asking is not because I think it's a realistic possibility, sure. but just because from the vibe I get from the last couple of days, there's plenty of people in this room that if you said, hey, come play a 10K, they'd be like, yeah, let's go. You know, let's let's fire off 10K. Uh, yeah, I, could have I, I totally believe it, too. Yeah. It's just, you know, it, it's kind of like one of those things where I think when we we saw what the series was always going, the, all those 10K binds kind of de depleted the player pool over time. But yeah. Why don't we jump back here as Bones picks up aces, same way he's got jacks. Yeah, this could be a big one, too. Sam is going to make it 475. For Oklahoma with king-queen offsuit. Oh, is, is he thinking about something here? Oh. He, is. he raises to 1,200. Bones cannot believe his luck here. Uh, it, it just... Twice he's had aces. Spellbounding is what it is right now. Twice he's had aces, and twice it's been 4-bet ahead of him. He's going to shove. Sammy's going to be in a tough spot, and Brock is going to fold. Oh, did yeah. he just call? He did. Yeah, Bones That's a very is... sneaky just call. Maybe you I thought like maybe that. we could get a back raise out of this here. But look, we got plaques in the middle. All these chips, 3700 yeah. bucks in the middle. So we go three ways between aces, Ooh. jacks, and king. Queen! Oh, wow. oh no! Oh, my wow. God! Oh! Wow. I know Sammy only has two... Well, he might have a little above 2K here with the pinks in his yeah. stack. But this is going to be... Oklahoma checks. Fireworks. Bones has to check here. He has to check. Yep, he does. That's great. Man, if that was a t if that was a ten, that was about to be the sickest sound of all time. Oh. So Sammy now here with a set of jacks, the second best hand fires out. Yeah, and he has no reason to think his hand isn't best right now either. If Oklahoma's gonna call here. This one K bet, drawing to a gut shot. Bones probably just going to call as well, I think. Yeah, it's fairly dry wow. board, obviously, besides the yeah. just the fact that there's a straight draw happening. As... Ten, a 10 here would be so brutal. Oh, it would. So here we go. Massive it's pot building gonna, here on TCH Live. As oh! oh! No! Oklahoma on the river. Oh my word. That's insane. I can't believe it, my friend. So much pain about that, that happened for Bones and Hurts Sammy. me to my soul right there to see that happen, but let's see who's gonna lose the most on this, because everybody's got a claim at this, and Sammy's gonna come out barreling. Thinking his set's good. Wow, he doesn't have eight seventy five behind, he's yeah. got way more. Yeah, he looks like he added on between oh, wow. the hands, so that's a massive bet of... <laughs> Broke Mahoma with chips back. Wait, did We're going to have to listen to the chat here. That was my bad. Brooke Mahoma flipped his hand up preemptively, and that's going to actually save money for Bones. No, I think Bones did call. He, he 
I think something. Oklahoma may have just been so excited yeah. by being able to get some of his money back. Like, it, it, it's my goodness. Yeah, I do, I do think he exposed his hand early because he didn't put any chips out there. So he may have announced call or shove all in because. I think what happened is he. Oh no, Bones. Bones did call, I guess. This is shocking. Yeah, I'm not sure of the specifics of what happened there, but Bones is walking away from the table. His chips have gone over to Broke Oklahoma, so... Either way, all the money got in here on the yeah. river some way, somehow. Looks like... Oh, wow. I think it, it went like 4K, all in. Oh, okay, I think what happened was... Sammy had more than 4K behind. Um, so he had, he had both the players covered. Oklahoma had both players covered. Sammy, Sammy had 4, 4K was his bet. Oklahoma, they were about like 6K-ish behind. So Sammy bet 4K. Oklahoma shoved. Bones then called for his last 3.5K. And technically, Sammy was left to act behind for like the extra 2K. But then Oklahoma exposed his hand before Sammy had technically called, I think. Because Oklahoma was talking about somebody getting money back. And I can only think that that would be Sammy and not Bones. That, that, that could be. That, Sammy, I, I, that, yeah, because Sammy does have like one point, just over 1K behind now. So I think what happened is Sammy actually did fold because Oklahoma exposed his hand. Okay. King Queen of Diamonds serves pretty well as a three bet in that situation. Uh, it's all for why we'd classify it as a tier one merge hand, sort of like the top of the merge uh, in an aggressive formation, such as a cutoff open from my friend Matt Berkey. It should serve him pretty well. Bart Hansen. Tier one merge, huh? <laughs> a $12,000 win last week after an $8,000 loss. So this is all at 5-5. Five, five. And Sage got pocket aces here. Aces here from the hijack. Going to make it 80. You're losing and winning 10K every day at 5-5? Five, five? Well, the last two streams, it looks like we're going to see a three bet here by Mystery Hand. I want to say when I was watching this before bones has had aces a couple times and has been at either four or five bet both times when he has aces here we see aces getting three bet here by alex and alex has got pocket fives and he's not that deep so 80 to 345 pretty big sizing almost 4x over 4x Let's see how sage plays it Sage is going to choose to four bet. Yep, he's gonna make it six fifty, like almost like a little, little click back. A little under a third of stacks, relatively standard sizing. Anything higher would likely be a mistake. Any size larger than a third of stacks. Well, it's actually two twenty five. So they went. And fix the graphics 225 so 225 up to 650 Two. now because if you go higher than a third of stacks your bluffs can't really afford to fold wow see an appeal here from the fives an yeah, optimistic we're... peel given the stack depth well yeah we're not gonna have much st stack depth if we get top set here for sage red ace this is on ace four eight he's got slow blade he's gonna yeah. check I don't see a lot of reason to bet. Uh, ranges are so tight already, given that it's a four-bet pot. And there isn't uh, much money to get in the pot. And a mm. quick check to check. So Alex going to need to... Oh, the turns of oh my five! God. Wow. A poor Alex. Brutal, brutal, brutal. He gets in there with the pocket fives. Sage just has an overset. One of those days. Sage is going to take, wow, large sizing here. He's going to yeah. bet 800. And, I mean, you can never get away from it if you're going to peel to the four bet here. <laughs> and there's a lot of action cards that might kill 
the river here, one liner speed. So we wouldn't, I wouldn't, just, I mean, he'd be at 800. It wouldn't surprise me if we just get in right here. It looks like he has a little more than uh, 1.8. And there it is. There's the all stack. in. Almost a 5K. Very pop. unlucky turn for Alex. Nice hand there for Sage. Can he find the five on the river, do you think? Well, it's one out of, what, 42 or 43 unseen cards. River's a 10. They're going to run it twice. And he does not quad up. It's a nice hand there for Sage. Like, I don't think people are observing the patterns of the pools. Uh, Dudley with aces. Going to raise. 135 here from the cutoff. Berkey, uh oh, he looks like he wants to do something here, Chris. Oh, thinks better of it. Makes the fold. Discipline fold. He got aces, Burke. Let it go. See, I'll be here with King Five of Diamonds gonna defend. Now, top side again. Seems like we get a lot of top sets here tonight with aces. It's hard to miss with aces. Sammy here has bottom pair. I don't know if that's going to be enough for him to continue, depending on the sizing. 175. And he is going to call. The way this knight's going, we're going to see a five or a king here. Ooh, turns a heart, which might kill some of the action. Quick check and a check. Oh. Oh, what a bad run out for aces. Pretty much the worst run out. See if Sammy, set. Sammy turns his hand to a bluff here. Very, very hard for him to have really any showdown value. So, yeah, and he I is gonna suspect bet. Dudley will fold. Well, let's see the sizing. 450. You want to give me some action? Even <laughs> money? If book it fast. He's giving away what he's going to do with his body language. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, may, maybe a different hand. It's too late. Okay. There's no... He's oh, going to he make calls. the call. I would have lost some money to you there, Bart. In Las Vegas for a few months when we're deciding whether we're, where we were going to go as Jay picks mm. up aces. And we lived in Summerlin, and I played some sessions at the Hard Rock. Man, that was miserable. The Hard Rock? I mean, uh, Red Rock, excuse me. Not oh, yes. Rock. Yeah. That is a pretty miserable spot to play. Uh, in general, it tends to just be locals. Not local pros, but local retirees. So the game moves very slowly and is very tight. Raise it up here to 80 by J with aces. Alex going to make the call. Sammy going to make the call. Aces. Everybody gets aces yeah. all the time. I keep flopping top sets, too. It's crazy. Top set? You want to give me action? Whether he flops top set? Ah. Good. Good board for J. He has insurance on a diamond with that sweet red ace. He's going to bet 150 here into 245. And a call here from Sammy with a mystery hand. So, I mean, Sammy could have a deuce here, also could have a queen and eight or diamonds. And, and wow, the check back on the turn. And Sammy's going to bet at it here. Really don't like to see a check back. You just have a value hand, and you really want to be getting that value from your Did opponent's Sammy range. Did Sammy bet? No, okay. The graphics said 1.1K, but 1K? You're going to 2X the pot? Wow. 2X the pot here. So obviously this, this is basically saying he's got a flush or a full house. The bluffs would be like a 9-10, a jack-10. Which are the straight draws, Hands right? that wrap around the queen and the eight. Perhaps he, some ace deuce. highs that he got a, ambitious. He could have a deuce here. There's the call, and what do we got here? I can't tell by his body language. Well, he's got the best hand. I don't know what it is, but you can see that Jay's mocking. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to see what that is or what. But... A deuce? Oh, ace a deuce. Or, sorry, a wow. deuce. So good, good check back by Jay. <laughs> Sage's going to call with uh, Queen-9 suited out of the small blind. We've got to stop giving everybody aces. It's boring, you know? 
just having aces over hand. It's not a bad strategy, but... And top set against bottom two. Oh, my oh, God. wow. Well, I guess this makes for good TV. Another top set of aces. Take note of Kevin's I have the nuts face. And usually bo <clears throat> bottom two, very vulnerable. Sammy's probably going to check raise right away. It wouldn't surprise me if they just get it in. Sammy with less than 1%. That's pretty hard to do in No Limit Hold'em. But I guess when you have 6-4 on ace-6-4 versus aces. Sammy raised it to 175. And it looks like Kevin put in the 3-bet here. So 60 to 175. Now just a call. I would 3-bet. Turn is an Eight. Sammy going to fire out here with his bottom two. 275. There could also be a lot of action killing cards at the end here. And he's going to put the raise in. There's the all in. And the call. And 6-4 is drawn dead. For like the fourth or fifth time tonight, we see aces flop top set. Taylor Carroll bringing up uh, six on the end does not help. Despite the fact that Sammy has a house. Ooh, Berkey here with Queen Eight of Diamonds, Sage with pocket aces. Let's just take the aces out of this deck. Makes it too easy. Everybody just gets aces. Is Berkey going to defend? Well, that's a quick yes. Seems didn't, like yes. Didn't even really think about it. The disrespect, it. Queen Eight of Diamonds to the streets. Well, ten five six. Does Berkey have enough back doors to continue? Oh, Sage's gonna play KG. Checks it back. Oh, the diamond on the turn. Mm, I hope Berkey doesn't get raised. Super biased, obviously, but so Berkey's gonna bet two seventy five here, and Sage's gonna raise. Tricky lines tonight, Berkey. Thinking about it. Small raise, 275 to 650. Look, he's mulling all his options. He's going to go for the call. Not There aren't that many diamonds left. I was going to say the ace of diamonds would be a savage card, but it looks to be dead There's at the top of your screen. Oh, it's not dead. The river's the <laughs> ace of diamonds. Oh, wow. Oh, come on. I think, I think Come the top on, the, man. The top of the screen, I think, was saying it's not good is what it was. Oh, wow. God. Oh, I got slow rolled as the commentator. I Un thought it was dead. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, Burke. Oh, God. Just just hope for it. Call it out. 1900 in Did the you pot. call for the Ace of Diamonds? I thought it was dead, man. Damn pot, you. 1200. <laughs> 1400 here. Well, 1400 now. At oh, what point? Call. At what point would there ever be would Berkey would just call here? By the way, I think Sage is deeper than this. He's got 25 pinks, a stack of black that's 45, another three quarter stack is like six. I think he's more like 8,000 deep, seven or 8,000 deep. This could get expensive. Remember the line, though. Check back, race, turn, and now he bombs river with Berkey. Now he, Berkey, look, see? Now Berkey's going to do a little. He's I never think he's raising just gonna call. after that. Yeah, I think he's just going to call. Is he thinking about folding? Is he going to make a hero fold here? We've he's seen him goat, make dude. hero folds. He's the goat. Come on, Berkey, you can do it. Come on, Berk. Oh, no, no, no. Damn. Do it. He knows, man. He knows. It's tens and aces. He also loses to like ace five. Looked like he was going to fold, and now he's coming back. And he's like, where am I playing? We're playing awesome. Berkey in the cage. Huh? Yes. Do it, Berk. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> Just fucking fold, man. I know you can. He's trying to get some live tells here. Well, I guess that's a fold. <laughs> Oh, no, maybe he asked to see one card, and Sage said, yeah, you can see one card. So there's a little live poker. You got to fold now, Berg. 
You see an ace? Yep. So it looks like Sage said, yeah, you can see one card. And obviously it's an ace, so I would think that that would make it a lot easier to fold now, right? Yeah, surely. I'm sweating this with him. I, I mean, I guess he... <laughs> yes! I, I guess Sage could have an ace-king with the king of diamonds. It was turning into a bluff. I mean, I would think the ace would make it much easier to fold here. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, Burke. Yes! <laughs> He's the GOAT! Solve for Y Academy. Next Academy, April 1st to 3rd. April 1st to 3rd. He's the fucking GOAT. Oh, not to be results-oriented, but... <laughs> Are we being rational here? I'm, I'm, I got the fire right now, Bart. That's a bummer. Yeah. How dare they, man? It's a freaking free market. Well, I think it's... Actually, as Sage picks up queens again. Well, I think, it's not a free market because it's a private business. Well, yeah, but it's not It's not something that somebody is actively doing. It's their algorithm. As Kevin mm. picks up jacks. Kevin like has jacks. So raise it up by Berkey. This is going to be diamonds. painful for somebody. Sage, three bets. Kevin calls. Berkey's in there with the 6-3. Berkey's going to call two. He's like, yo. I can beat these guys. Call. Six, three. Oh. What? Quads for Kevin. <laughs> Kevin with the quads. The stone face I check. mean, the only thing that would make this complete here, Chris, is if the queen rolls off on the turn of the river. Surely not. <laughs> 500 here from Sage. No way. Call here Quick from call. Berkey. Or a call here from uh, Kevin. Berkey gets out of the way. He's got a scary poker face, man. He's got quads, though. So, queen on the river, do you think? Want to give me odds? <laughs> well, it's about 22 to 1, right? 21 to 1. A little bit of maybe an action killing card here. Check, check on the turn. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Poor Sage. <laughs> Poor Sage. There's oh, no oh scenario God. in which he doesn't just lose three thousand dollars. I, I, we could just call it out, and it just comes. Oh my God. Poor Sage. Poker's so brutal, man. Oh my. Jesus God. Christ. <laughs> I mean, he's not. I mean, the only so thing you, brutal. Luckily for Sage, Kevin's not that deep. I three thousand dollars—a lot of money, man. Wow, Kevin checks the river. Good check, Kevin. Good identification. People hate checking good hands on the river. Hate it. Oh, that's this is it's just a night of cooler after cooler. It's been a crazy stream. Solve for quads. <laughs> this guy's funny, man. There's the all in. And a call. Oh. Oh. Let's zoom in on that face. Well, Sage has to show his hand, right? Everybody's going to, no one's going to muck that Damn. quietly. That's the face of a guy with a full house. Top full house. Top, well, second. I mean, besides aces, but. I mean, you beat, a, you beat ace jack, you beat queen jack, you beat Ouch. sixes. Oh, that's the pain. Crazy. The pain of no <laughs> limit hold'em. Nobody it's... really crushing besides Berkey. Well, and Brooklahoma won a lot before. Oh, that's yeah. right. 